from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for June 10th, 2016. In just a moment, we'll be taking a look at the AUD USD, the Australian versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. But first, a recap of a couple of the trade suggestions made over the past few days. Starting here on the USD CAD, the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. Yesterday, we discussed selling on rallies into the resistance zone, keeping an eye on the news, of course. We have resistance, 1.2745 to 1.2775. That's the yellow shaded area. You see just at the top of the current market price here for the US CAD. So we were looking to go short and sell into that area. Well, we did. Uh, we went short the market. We saw over 20 pips. I saw about 30 or so pips of profit on the trade. Went ahead and moved the stop loss to break even to protect the trade from going negative again. And of course, the market has come right back up into the 2745 level and taken us out of that previous trade. And that's good news. Uh, we protected profit. And now we have significant news today out of Canada with jobs data. So you want to pay attention to that. Uh, likely waiting till after that news before looking for a new opportunity. If it comes out positive for Canada, of course, we'll likely look for this to head on back down towards the pink zone and go down towards the green shaded area. If it comes out uh, poor and misses the mark, uh, we could see the break through the yellow shaded area. So I'm going to wait until after the news before making a new trading decision here on the U.S. CAD. But I still think we're focused on shorting resistance, especially with positive Canadian data. Let's move on now over to the AUD USD, the Australian versus the US dollar. Over the past several weeks and actually several months, we've seen a few different trends that we want to recognize here for the AUD USD, the Australian versus the US dollar. You see the previous red trend line, the uptrend here, and then over the past several weeks, we saw a downtrend with the blue trend line. And now we've seen a little bit of a change and shift in the pattern again back to the upside. So again, we see several different trends. Of course, what we're going to follow right now is the current momentum and the current trend that the, the currency pair is going in until something changes again. Let's go ahead and zoom it in here a couple of times here on the daily time frame. Of course, the blue trend line, that was the downtrend pattern, lower highs, lower lows. Now we've shifted the pattern back to the upside. Now over the past couple of days, we have seen a dip lower, but that's okay. I think sometimes you need it to go down before it goes back up to give you a better investment for your money. Dipping into support gives you that opportunity. You look back to the left hand side, look at the blue shaded area, 7370, 7400. That's the blue shaded area here on the chart. We have a couple of things going on here. Historically, you can see resistance here. So that resistance telling us that there's potential for support into that area, 7370 to 7400. We also have the 100 period moving average sitting right smack in the middle of that blue shaded area, giving us a clue to potential support as well, uh, given the moving average price action. Then, of course, we've taken Fibonacci high of the blue trend line down to the low, low up to the current resistance high. And we have a couple of levels of Fibonacci also. Uh, converging right here, right around the 7400 level. And of course, the 7400 level itself, that double zero level offering a clue to potential support. Now that we're above it, there's potential for the continuation higher. We know what the risk is. The risk is that the market turns lower. So right now we're looking at support. Let me uh, zoom in one more time. We're looking at support into the blue zone, 7400 down to 7370. If the market turns lower and breaks through that blue zone, that's the risk on the trade, and we likely look for it to head higher down to the purple zone. But as long as it sits on top of those Fibonacci levels, on top of the blue shaded area, I think there's potential for it to bounce off of here and head back up towards the orange shaded area. This is something we spoke about during the live trade room yesterday. It shouldn't be too much of a surprise for anybody that was in the trade room that this is what we're looking for. So here we are. Right at 7,400. I've already taken the buy at 7,405. I want to get in just ahead of that, just in case it didn't take it all the way down into the blue zone. It did, but uh, waiting to see what happens now, of course, on this trade. Buying into 7,400, looking for the rally back into the 7,460, 7,500 level, the orange zone above 75. We could even see further movement higher. The risk, of course, is known. Underneath 7,370 should be your stop loss. That way, if it breaks there, we look to get out and look for new opportunities on the Australian dollar. 
From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.